Pianoverse is a recently released VST plugin instrument from IK Multimedia that has some fantastically well sampled pianos that you can play in imaginative and interesting spaces. So this is not just a well sampled piano plugin. This is a piano plugin that puts your piano in the middle of the desert or in the middle of the ocean and lets you experiment with those sounds. Because of that, you can get a wide range of sounds that start with just sounding like a piano and with sounding like something very different from a piano. So let's have a look at all five areas of this plugin and what each parameter does so you can get a handle on how to make this VST device work for you. Special thank you to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this video. When you open up Pianoverse, you're going to be shown this screen that allows you to select presets. Now on the left hand side, you're going to see the four currently available piano sounds. These pianos are all sampled and based off of very well known pianos that you'll see up on the screen right now. And so you can start with a sound that at least is somewhat close to what you're going for. But the Picking samples here is very intuitive and really fun. So first of all, you've got these five areas, right? You've got favorites, which I'll add one to favorites so you can see. Then you have mood with some very descriptive words. I'm looking for a piano that sounds imaginative. Um, well, how many are there? It looks like there are five different ones. Or I can select more than one. It's going to pull up all of those presets. Now, in addition to that, you can pick based off of genre. Um, so if you're looking to create a particular type of song, you can do so. You can also choose based off of style of music, and you can choose based off of the timbre that you're looking for. So a lot of different ways to acquire and find sounds. And to give you an idea of what these pianos sound like to start, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a jazz piano, um, and then we'll be able to place that jazz piano in different spaces and apply some effects so you can see the full range of what this plugin is capable of doing. When you choose a piano from this window over here, in the bottom right, you're gonna see all of this information about what exactly it is. Mastercrafted nine foot concert grand piano built in Japan from the best spruce. Um, if you like the description, you can double click and it will open it. I'm gonna hit this star though, so you can see what happens. If you like the sound, when you go into your favorites, you'll see that it pops up. Uh, if I double click, it's gonna open the particular samples and we'll have a listen. So, sounds like a piano to me, and it's very well sampled. The amount of control over this instrument that you have is quite a bit. So, we're going to go through the four areas that you can use to customize the sound to your liking. And bear in mind that there are a lot of presets that will give you massive ranges of sound. So let's start with the piano. When you click into this, it's going to give you controls that are relevant to the sample itself. So you can adjust the tuning, transpose the space volume, which kind of bumps up against this next space panel, which we're going to do. We're going to spend some time there. Um, there's the tone, which is basically an EQ boost or reduction. And then the compressor knob. This knob is only gonna be relevant if in the mix section your mix is turned on. Now you can adjust your velocity curve if you so desire to compensate for how your piano reacts and this is gonna give you control over the stereo signal of the piano. Now right from this front panel here you can turn on and off some of the effects. Now. Pianos are going to come with these effects turned on or off based off of the preset that you choose, but you can swap them out later. Okay, so there's some of that, and... Depending on what you like. We're going to look at those effects in a moment here. I actually really like the model area because this, to me, is where the sound shaping really starts to happen. So the note level is the volume of the actual pitch. Okay, so that's going to control how much you can actually hear the sound. The release is the sound of when you lift lift the strings. 
Hammer noise is the sound of the hammers hitting the strings, so, okay. Pedal noise is the volume of the pedals. Harp res is the sound of the resonating strings when keys are hit. So just to make this over the top. Just harp res alone gives this so much texture and interesting stuff, but that's what that does. Lid position is what you would think. How open or closed is the lid? Tone shift is a brilliant idea. So what this button does is not a transpose as you might think, but it actually is moving the samples um, and then re-pitching them. So if you go really far to the left, you get kind of an eerie dark sound. And if you go all the way to the right, you get something closer to like a clap. which I actually don't hate that sound. Uh, it's definitely a choice to make, but kind of interesting to have the ability. Um, your velocity offset is going to give you the ability to kind of push everything in one direction or the other. Now this does work in standalone mode. So this is gonna be much more relevant in my opinion if you're not using it inside of something like Ableton or Gig Performer, because you might need to adjust. Now, next we have the filter section. Now there are a lot of different filters that you can choose from here. But standard low pass. And you can also adjust the resonance. And then we have this release sample here that will give you the ability to change how long that release is heard. So. So it gives you quite a bit of ability to shape it. Now, um, actually I'm pretty happy with this sound. Um, so I'm going to leave it for now, and we're going to move on to the space area. Now, in my opinion, the space area is why this plugin is interesting. Because in Studio C, you have a very standard piano. However, when you pop over into the Colosseum, you get something very different. wild, wild different sound. Now, some of these, in particular, the more imaginative spaces that are included with this plugin, have the ability to change certain elements of the sound. So these are kind of at their base, uh, just locations, right? They're like an impulse response. However, they have the ability to alter certain things. So... Okay, so we're getting a lot more like low end bassy things from this. Arena seems to be further out, like a, a more far away kind of detailed like outer ring, something you're hearing later. Um, audience. It's a bit more shine, Gladiator. That's like some yelling going on. <laughs> very interesting. Although I have to say, um, I do like it. It's very interesting and cool. Now at the very bottom, you have the space volume knob, which is gonna allow you to adjust how much of the sound that you hear. Now in playing with a lot of these presets, I found that the spaces, although fantastic and interesting if you are trying to create a desired effect, like your film scoring um, or your writing in a, you know, for some sort of context, um, might not always work with a live band. 
except that when you play with the volume of the space, sometimes it really does fit because you can have it going on as like interesting texture in the background without taking away from whatever it is that you're trying to play. And I play a lot of worship music. So these reverbs or spaces, whatever it is that you want to call them, are um, possible for me to use especially if I have the balance set correctly, which we have a lot of ability. Now, I want to show you a couple more of these more unique ones because um, a lot of the other ones are what you would think they would be, right? Like if you're in a rehearsal room, it sounds like a smaller room, but the desert, what does a piano sound like in the desert? This is what it sounds like. have the ability to change some of these parameters. It's like wind almost has a bit of pitch to it in this mirage here. So this is really a soundscape. And again, when you turn this down a bit, This could work. Um, I want to show you one of my favorite ones, which is Old Forest. Now, this is a... I'm going to play it for you. I'm just going to play it. You tell me what you think. What I love about this particular sound is there are so many elements kind of hitting you from different places. Um, it really feels like you're in a space. I'm gonna turn up some magic. Who could uh, not use a little bit of extra magic? So really interesting space. Now, there's a lot more to this plugin. I could literally spend a whole video just playing these spaces, um, but do check them out. Very, very useful to play with. And this is, this is to me where the piano verse is special and or unique. The samples are good. They sound great. They sound like pianos. You can really tweak them. Um, they feel good to play, but not every piano plugin lets you play in the forest with these kinds of interesting effects. So let's pop over, actually, let's do the effects tab first. So the effects tab is a really interesting place because you have some modulation that's built in and you have some effects that are designed to create different results, right? This is not a standard piano plugin. This is sort of piano 2.0. So I'm gonna start by turning on this send and it is what you say it is. You've got one send and two inserts. Convo Morph is by far the most interesting effect that is in this plugin and it lets you fade between two different types of effects get something that's a bit more um rhythmic so you can hear it
that is a whole sound in and of itself. So Convo Morph is very powerful, especially when you pair it with an LFO. You can also pair it with an envelope if you desire to see some of that happen. And this will adjust here. Okay, so very interesting convo morph effect. Now you've got some other more standard effects going on inside of this plugin. So in our next insert, let's go ahead and check out Coral. So this is a chorus effect. If we turn it on, you can adjust, adjust your depth, your rate, and your dry wet. So. standard chorus effect, but it's good to have one. I really love the lo-fi <laughs> effect here. So this kind of lets you change the bandwidth as they talk about in their manual, but check out what happens. <laughs> And again, having the ability to automate these parameters is really nice. So. I think this is a cool effect overall. And then on the last one, you have all of these same um, things going on, but I do want to show you the shimmer effect because I just really like the way this sounds. So. You can shift up to a full octave. get a really huge range of effects out of this. Now, the mix area is something that we should spend a little bit of time with. We have two distinctive controls. We have the ability to mix the piano sound itself over here on the left, which gives you EQ and compression, plus control over your microphones. And then in the space area, EQ as well, plus compression, plus control over your volume and your panning. Now, right now, The piano is panned left and the space is panned right. I'm gonna move this piano center. I'm gonna pan the space a bit off to the left. I'm gonna pull the volume back on the space just a bit so that we can kind of hear what's happening. So this gives you the ability to really make a soundscape. Now we can change these microphones if we want, but really, really cool. Now I'm gonna EQ this space just a touch to see if I can make it a bit less prominent. And I think also pull back this shimmer a bit because it is a lot. <laughs> Now there's a lot of noise happening, um, which is good. That kind of sounds like the desert, right? But we don't want it to be overpowering necessarily. And then on the final way out, we've got a master volume fader. So this is really just scratching the surface of what's possible here. Um, but I wanted to give you an overview of every single feature. So if you're just getting started, this is the first time you're using this plugin, this at least will give you a feel for where everything is. Now, some parting encouragements, do spend lots of time in your preset area because this is gonna give you a feel for everything that is possible in it. Um, and then once you kind of know what's there, you can feel free to move through and tweak things. This is very playable. An additional side note, all of these things are mappable. So if you're running Ableton or you're running Gig Performer, um, 
using it in a DAW will let you change some of these things while you're playing, which will make this a more playable instrument. It is kind of a wide range of, if you want a piano sound, piano is available, and if you want a massive effect that's kind of going in any direction that you want it to go, that's also available. Um, so do check this out if you're interested. Again, special thanks to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this video. I've got two videos on the screen right now about some other piano sounds that are great. Click on them and check them out, and I'll see you next time at LiveKeyboardist.com.